how to fix your Healy coils if you break them out of your uh, your fuselage. There's a chance that you could strip them if you tighten your wings too tight or if you try to put the screw in when the wing is not totally on and you get it cross threaded. Okay this is a, a do not do. You do not use your drill gun with a Phillips head or any other kind of head to try and put in your screws. This is a no-no for your wings. Don't ever try to do that. We're gonna grab our wing screw and show you how to mess this thing up. You put it in there, you think it's straight, thing turns sideways. Now look what happened. That thing just jackknifed in there. And we're like, oh shoot, what did we do? Try to put it straight, oh, it's still jackknife. So what we have done is messed up our Healy coil. And look at the actual screw itself. See how that looks all stripped at the top? You don't want to ever use a drill gun to do your screws on your wings. Kind of stripped it out. And what we're going to have to do is pull that Healy coil out of there and put a new one in. We're going to really try and force this screw in there. And look at that thing is messed up now. Ugh. Now if you're at this point, you've got it pretty buggered up. You could run your tap right through this right now and clean it all out again. You would take your M6 tap and run it right through here and try and clean this up again. Okay, but our whole idea is we want to try and show you how to to do the the Healy coil all over again. But if you're at this stage, get a tap, try to clean it out before you proceed anymore, and you might be able to not totally replace the Healy coil. You can just clean it up. So we're cleaning it up. We're running it through there. There is a chance that this Healy coil is so messed up that it's going to grab on our tap. And come out the bottom but there is a chance you might be able to save it so we put the heel our tap all the way through it run it back up now we're gonna have to go get a new screw because this screw has been totally wasted it's totally stripped and when you do your taps try and keep them straight up and down like this don't let them wobble all over the place otherwise your threads are gonna be all over the place Okay, now I've cleaned up my threads and I can get the screw to go back in there again. Basically, I got to where I, it wasn't the point of no return. I cleaned up my threads because I know I was buggering them up. Put a tap through there, you can put your screw in it again, but use a brand new screw because you've already buggered up your screw. So inside your fuselage is a thing called a Healy coil. This is threads. This is usually used to make threads in auto parts and you know some airplane parts and all kinds of different uh, applications throughout the world. Okay, we're gonna go over how to de do your Healy coil. This one we've already reinserted it, but what we did was we pulled our old Healy coil out with a pair of needle nose pliers. It looks like a spring that we're gonna pull out in an accordion. We ran our outside diameter tap through the carbon we put a little bit of super glue on the inside of our hole we threaded in a new Healy coil straight into our hole that we just tapped our tap will match the outside of these threads we put it two full turns below the surface as you can see this one is two full turns below then we spray it with our accelerator spray for super glue. This will make your super glue go off immediately. Spray it on the top, spray it on the bottom. Then this tang will be sitting inside our Healy coil. We're going to knock that off with our round rat tail file or any kind of metal that you can get on top of it. Tap it with a hammer. You could pull it out from the other side. Then take your finish tap. This is going to be the inside diameter. This is the outside diameter. This is the inside diameter. And we've already run this through there, so 
it's going to go real easy as you can see but we cleaned out our super glue and this will make sure that your your new screw will fit straight in there perfectly and that's all you have to do to do a Healy coil okay I finally forced my Healy coil to go all the way through from the top side through the fuselage now it's sticking out the bottom now this is not good because this is going to be in the way of your wing when your wing goes on so do you see this this is basically a spring there's threads on the outside and there's threads on the inside the inside is your bolt the outside is the threads where it goes into the fuselage okay let me grab one of these things so you can see it this is what the actual Healy coil looks like there's a tang on the bottom you can see this one doesn't have the tang right now because it's been removed but this is what it's going to look like we're going to put this in from the other side and we're going to knock this tang off and this is going to make brand new threads inside here so what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab my needle nose pliers grab my needle nose now that I can get to it we're going to try and lift this up okay through a lot of trial I finally got this Healy coil to come out the bottom side of my fuselage you can see how it's it's up this will catch on your wing so look at I'm trying to break it I pulled it up now now this whole spring inside there you can grab it with your needle nose pliers and it's going to take a little bit of force to get it out because it's glued in there I'll grab it and try and pull it straight out now watch it kind of goes like an accordion see that that's what it looks like when you pull your Healy coil out basically you've turned that spring into a long stretchy spring okay now what we're gonna do we're gonna take our tap right here this is the tap for the outside diameter of your new Healy coil this is your new Healy coil so the this tap matches the outside of this Healy coil threads we're gonna put this through there to clean out these threads again because we kind of buggered them up when we yanked out the spring then we're going to put a little bit of super glue inside the hole and screw this thing back in there at least two turns under the surface. Then we're going to back out our insert tool. We're going to show you how to do that right now. Our Healy coil is removed. What you're basically seeing is carbon. This is solid carbon fiber prepreg. And you can see there are threads in it that we because we've done it before. We're going to run new threads through it to make sure they're clean. So what you do is you go backwards and forwards with your tap. If it binds up, just go backwards and the, the carbon will fall out of there. Just kind of clean it up. So I'm going backwards and forwards. And you can see how the tap is going to come through the bottom. And I've run brand new clean threads through this fuselage. When you back out taps, always go straight up. Don't try to get them cockeyed and crooked. Okay, now this has a little tab on it that's going to catch this tang at the bottom of your Healy coil. So we're going to put it on there, and you'll see that the tab goes around and it's going to catch right there. See that? See how it catches on your tang? And I'm going back and forth. Okay, now you've got it on there good. This is how you're going to insert this back into the mass. I use my little pair of of crescent wrench and this is how I'm going to turn it. So the first thing we're going to do is put a little bit of super glue inside our hole over here. Oh, I've got my super glue. We're just going to put like one drop. I'd like to turn it a little bit sideways. Whoop, that's quite a lot. Try and get it out of the way. Now I've got my super glue in there. We come back get our Healy coil I'll get it right positioned right on the top of this I get my crescent wrench now look you're starting to thread it in there see how it's turning if it doesn't catch in the beginning you got to try and you know maybe re-thread it with your tap again but you want it to kind of go in there nice and smooth and I like to keep going until it you know it has a nice steady pace now right see how that Healy coil is right at the surface I want to go two full turns more. Okay, so now I'm right at the surface. I've got my crescent wrench in this position, so I'm going to go one turn, two turns. So as I know my Healy coil is at least two turns below the surface. Okay, now I back out 
my insert tool. Now look inside there. You've got a brand new Healy coil and you see the tang is still in it. We have to remove that tang. So the next thing I do, I take my super glue accelerator spray. This stuff makes super glue uh, go off in about five seconds. So I spray it in there. Let's turn it up a little bit sideways for my can, make sure it's working. Put it that way, that way. Now this will make my super glue go off like immediately. So like I can touch it now, it's gone off. And look, now you've got your, your Healy coil. It's got a tang in the bottom. We're gonna have to remove that tang. Now the way to do the tang is I put my round rat tail file. It's got the perfect size metal piece to put right on the tang. Okay, put it in there. Now you see how, watch it, it's gonna go right on it. And I give it one good tap with my hammer. Back up so you can see the hammer. Give it one good tap and that usually will knock the tang right out or it'll be below it to where I can look at it from the other side and grab it out from this side. You see that, that's the tang. Or when I'm doing, see this is what the tang will look like when it comes out. Or when I run my tap through there, it'll clean it all out and remove this tang at the same time. We'll show you how to do that. Okay, we have knocked out our tang and we're getting ready to put our tap right through our threads again to clean it out in case we have some super glue in the way. You can put your screw in there and if it goes in perfectly, then you know you don't have to worry about it. But it's always nice to run a clean tap through it. If it's binding up a little bit, that's usually because you got a little super glue on your threads. Okay, so run it through there. Back it out straight. I'm holding it to make sure it's straight again. Lift it straight up. Okay, now you look at your threads. And now this outside part here, since I've kind of been hitting it and trying to abuse it, I'm gonna take, this is my countersink bit. This is a nice diamond bit blade. And I'm gonna run this through the outside just to clean up some of that super glue. And I'll run it through the bottom side too. See, there's a little bit of a, it's coming out a little bit. So I kind of just clean this all up. You want this all clean. If you feel you got a bunch of super glue, sand it off or scrape it off with a razor blade because you want your wing to fit back on perfectly again. Okay, so now that we've got our, our Healy coil in there, we're gonna grab a brand new screw because we were trying to bugger up that screw. Get a brand new one and see how it fits in there. We just got a brand new screw. So you wanna go to the hardware store or wherever to get your a brand new screw if you bugger up your screws. Okay, you want your M6 and it's this, the one for the tail wing is a, a shorter one than, than this front one. This front one's about 25 millimeters, which is about one inch in America. And the other one is about 20 millimeters for the tail wing. So we put our, I'm just going to use this to see if it, it threads real good. I see how easy that goes in. Our Healy coil is perfect. We've cleaned out the threads. We're all ready to go put the wing on and see how it works. Remember, you tap your tail right like that. Now see how it all lines up perfectly. Put your screw in there. Now see, this is how your screws are supposed to go in. If you can do it by hand, it's perfect. And that's how you're supposed to do it. But well, we're going to explain all this in detail, how to do this. It's a pretty easy process. It sounds complicated right now, but you'll see that it's, it's very easy. You just need the right tools. Main tool is the tap that goes to for the outside diameter of this helicoil. You need this tap. Then you need your insert tool. This will grab your, in, your Healy coil, be able to put that thing inside your fuselage. Put a little super glue inside the hole of the fuselage before you put this in. Okay, then you back out your tool, knock off the tang with your round file or any kind of small metal piece that you can fit inside the hole. Then run your tap, which I'm gonna use this with this tap adapter that you can see that's a little handle. And I'll run it right through there, boom, you're ready to go.